Hello, this is Dr. Hui Liu from San Jose, California, United States. My email is ibridgepy at gmail.com. iBridgePy is an easy-to-use Python platform to help traders to build algorithm trading robots. It can backtest and live trade with inter interactive brokers, Robinhood, and TD Ameritrade. You can download iBridgePy from www.ibridgepy.com. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel because more tutorials are coming. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about uh, iBridgePy premium feature to get contract details from IB contract database. And I will focus on how to get option chains and how to filter the option chains to find the option that you want to trade. The first step we're going to go to is the IB contract database to find out the information we want. And then I will give you a demo on how to get a full option chains for Apple, AAPL, and how to filter the to find options that have an expiry closest to today and then filter the options that have a strike price closest to a target strike price. So let's go to IB contract details. Let's go to search. And this one we want to get is AAPL, which is the stock, uh, stock for Apple company. And we are going to talk about options. Then we'll click options. It will take a little bit longer and because there are 2,000, more than 2,000 options. Yes, if you are an option trader, you know there's a long list about option, option chain. So the goal of this demo is to find out what is the closest expiration date to today? And also, I want to find out, for example, I want to know the strike price. For example, let's say it's $499. Which option is have has a strike price close to $499? You can see the strike price can go from 180 to, I assume, big number, 560. So that's the goal. Then let's switch to the code. In average by the function you need to use is get contract details. Let's go to average pi to take a look about this function together. Go to ibridgepad.com and then go to documentation. This function is a get info function, so it's in 1.4, and we go to get contract details. The get contract details takes a few parameters security type, symbol, field are required. Security type, this one is option, so we should put OPT there. Symbol, which is the ticker of the security, we will put AAPL. To get option chains, we should put, uh, actually what we should put is a, a called a summary, actually. Let's go to take a look. Yes, the field is summary, option chain summary. Also, you need to specify what's the current base currency. Is it USD dollar? AAPL, the option chains, the primary exchange is CBOE. And exchange is also CBOE. Also, to limit the retrieve the number of option chains, we just care about call options as a demo. So I put option equals to C. And we use function, get this one. We use ENS to get the result. The result 
return re result is a pandas data frame. It has one column called security, and it is a iBridgePy security object, so that you can use that object in your code to get real-time price, historical data price, and place order, etc. So in this code, first, I will print out how many option chains I retrieved from IB database. And then I want to print the last five rows as a demonstration. I know there will be many option chains retrieved using this search function. And then I want to do a filter. I want to filter the options which has an expiry closest to a target date time. As this demo, I want to know now. So I use date time dot date time now, which means which is the closest expiry in option chains. So the result is still a data frame. So I want to print how many options will expire very soon and print out the latest one as a demonstration. Probably there are still many because the strike price has a big range. And then, then the last step I want to know is which option has a strike price closest, closest to a target strike price. In this demo, I put $449 to see which option strike closest to this price. And then print out how many and print out the result. This is the code. And then let's run it. It will take a little bit of time because the option chain is pretty long. You can see we retrieved 1,329 options because we just want call function, uh, call options. That's why it's just a half the number of all options. As we remember, there are, oh, yeah, this number. Just, just half of this number is retrieved here. You can see all options available and call options are just half of them. Then print out the, the last five rows. It's this one. There are too many. So we want to filter the closest to today, expiry closest to today. So we put today is August 5th. Seems like the soon, the latest expiry is August 7th. There are still 88 option chains, options available because the strike price has a big range from low number to a big number. It's still not easy to find, so that we applied a filter to find out by a target strike price. The code is say, I want to know which one has the, uh, the strike price close to $449. After this filter, we found out there's only one contract and have a strike price is $450. By the way, the closest strike price will, also, will only find that the price higher than the target strike price, which means even if there is one strike is $449.50, the filter will still find 450 in this case. 
Thank you very much. For any questions, please send an email to ibridgepi at gmail.com. If you need any help on coding, please check out our well-known render coder service. More tutorials are coming. Please don't forget to subscribe. iBridgePy is an easy-to-use Python platform to backtest and live trading. Thank you very much.